みなさん、こんにちは。ゲームプレイファーストへようこそ。ここで最も重要なことは楽しいものです。私はタイヤです。え、うん、ごめんなさい。Did that do it? Okay, good. Hey everyone, welcome to Gameplay First, where fun is second to none. My name's Tyler, and I really love anime. This week, I'm reviewing Vagrant Story by the request of one of my Kickstarter backers, Ryan Bell. Arigato, Ryan kun. Okay, enough of the dubbing mishaps, let's get to the review. Now, going in, I had no idea what to expect from this game. All I knew was that it was a PS1 title developed by Squaresoft. I had every belief that it would be a Final Fantasy esque JRPG, which isn't a problem for me. I actually like JRPGs, my personal favorite being Kingdom Hearts. I really love the focus on story while keeping the gameplay fun, or at least attempting to do so. I love how that's the heart of the JRPG genre, and it's fantastic for storytelling. Vagrant Story is, as the name would suggest, no exception. Right off the bat, you're bombarded with exposition, but much like almost any anime, it's all pretty well explained right away, so you're not sitting there confused. The story and the game are both paced very well, and I was actually pretty intrigued from the get go. I'm actually not going to touch on the story that much, but I'll say what I can without giving away any plot. You play as Ashley, a member of an elite group of soldiers called the Risk Breakers. Now, in the prologue, Ashley is implicated in the murder of a duke, and then they Tarantino us to a week before that happened to explain what led up to it. Suffice to say, the story is pretty well written. I really love the recurring motifs of Square Enix games the power of the heart, the importance of body and soul, and all that. Some people think it's cliche or it's too complicated, but I grew up with Kingdom Hearts, and I've managed to keep a grip on that story, even though it's gotten really complex. And again, I've never had any problems following heroes, but let's move on. For a game released on the PS1, the graphics are exactly what you'd expect. Not that great by today's standards. However, despite the graphical and audio limitations of the time, Vagrant Story plays like an interactive anime from start to finish, and that's something I really enjoyed. The opening cutscenes have the opening credits going simultaneously, and it really gives the feeling that, yeah, you're playing an anime. That must have been a really cool experience for gamers at the time, and it's certainly something I got a kick out of even now. Um, the combat system was actually pretty interesting. I will say I've never seen a combat system quite like this. It's unique, to say the least. Although I didn't like the way combat was handled, I do appreciate trying something new, even if I personally couldn't wrap my head around it at first. It took some reading of the in game manual to figure out how the combat works. And honestly, that was probably my biggest issue with the game. It's that one of those games that doesn't teach you how to play. There's an in game manual, and it's a lot of reading if you really want to learn how to play. It just tosses you in the deep end and goes, Sink or swim, I got a story to tell. So, between the lack of the tutorial and the. Ugh, the save system. I know this is an older game, so bashing the save system is sort of a dick move, but the game is ridiculously unforgiving with the saves, and it started to get on my nerves really quickly. At the end of the day, I have to say that I can't review this game as if it were released today because our expectations are so different now. That's really the problem with doing a retro review. I have to review the game as I would have if it were the year it was released. In the case of Vagrant Story, what similar games do I have to compare it to? Well, Ocarina, Diablo 2, and of course Final Fantasy 7 come to mind. Does Vagrant Story measure up to those games? In a word? Yeah. But there's a big asterisk. If you remember Ocarina, Diablo, or Final Fantasy from your youth, then they'll definitely measure up better to you personally. But if you've never heard of Vagrant Story until now, will it measure up as well for you? Honestly, probably not. I'm reluctant to rate this game because it's really hard to get a read on it, but, you know, if I have to, let's go to the breakdown and I'll do my best. I've said all I really need to about the battle system. I'm not crazy about it, but I think it's interesting, and if it were explained better, I probably would have liked it more. Uh, the puzzles and the platforming were also handled really well. I'd consider this kind of an experimental title, even though it's the last one that Squaresoft did for the PS1, it was supposed to be like a culmination of everything they'd learned. There was a lot of experimental new stuff with it, and because it tried something different, I can't really fault it for at least trying to be original. So, 7 out of 10 on gameplay. Not really fair to grade this one, really. There's no voice acting, there's no music to speak of, the sound effects are good, but let's just give this one a not applicable. Okay, if this game were released today, it would take a major hit on graphics. But for being a late PS1 era game, it looks basically how you'd expect. Personally, I thought Final Fantasy VII looked way better, but it's a different style, so there's that. 
Again, grading it really wouldn't be fair, since even for the time, a lot of other PS1 games looked better because the style was cartoonier. So, I'm going to call this one a wash, too. Now this is where the game shines. I mean, it's called Vagrant Story, so if it doesn't deliver here, that's pretty much nail in the coffin. But it does. I was intrigued from the word go, and I was really excited to find out what was going on here. 9 out of 10. When all is said and done, Vagrant Story is a game that for a lot of people is powered by nostalgia. For me, I didn't think it was amazing, but I can see how a dungeon crawler with a great story like this could appeal to a lot of people even now. For me, I don't know, you could say it wasn't my cup of tea, but I could see how a lot of people might really like it. It wasn't something that blew me away, but I definitely understand what all the fuss is about. Vagrant Story gets his 7.5 out of 10. Anyway, for Gameplay First, this is Tyler, signing off. Now, I thought I'd find you here. You. Me. Am I interrupting something, kiddo? Actually, I'm just wrapping up a review. Neat. Yep. Now, what do you want this time? Well, I think it's time you and I finally fought. Wait, what? Don't blame me, Slugger. You're the one who changed up the style for this review. It's an anime. I'm your evil twin. We pretty much have to fight. Yeah, you're right. Let me just finish up here. Fair enough. I'll go get my mech ready. Okay. For gameplay first, this is Tyler si Wait, mech? I think I'm gonna need this. See you next week, guys.